Greetings, everyone. I'm Hello. Coco Lau. I'm Key Lady. And we're Rare Birds. Today, we're going to teach you the fundamentals of home recording under $500. Oh, yeah. How to make a beat, how to learn your cables, uh, what you can record on, how to get a track out into the internet to your family, to your friends. We move on to the mixer so that we can record all the things at once, mm -hmm. you know, can record uh, through a heftier signal USB and we can record in or out of the RCAs onto the task. Really need to know how to wire the cables. cables and make sure that you have quality the cables. quality cables and you wrap them and you know which ones can flip inside of each other. We buy the Guitar Center one. Yeah, we buy the Guitar Center they give us Those things are so, you know, and that's, that's a lifetime warranty. That's the Guitar warranty. Center hat. Yeah, so this thing is super powerful. Highly recommend an outside source to record on. Mm -hmm. It is very recommended because computers crash. All the time. I can get you a whole segment of sad stories about how somebody's computer crashed and we still have every single piece of data we ever had because we have it on its separate device. This runs off batteries. Damn, you ain't seen that. Okay, this runs off batteries. I can take this anywhere I want. I used to have house sitting gigs a lot. Pop of the piano and record mm -hmm. off these two tiny mics right here and record Yo, tons of jams like that. Uh -huh. But this is a really powerful cable here. This is a RCA. RCAs have multiple uses. Just like this. I'll sneak on everyone just like this, okay? I'll be like, oh shit, this is, getting, this is getting pretty hot. Basically, A, B, input into here, okay? And then, out of here, right? I'll just be like, oh shoot, this beats hot. This B cable right here will be connected to this computer, like this, right here into this USB on this mixer. Boom, it turns on, okay? It's all batteries, everything's going. Okay. I arm it here, boom, boom. I do usually two two beats armed. I just stereo. like to be a stereo version of it. those are mono. And I'll turn it up into here, and I'll just be like, I'll just press record, just like you do when you're a tape, when it's a tape player, you just press Record and play at the same time. Oh yeah, there's our oh, setup. Well, oh, that's a well, that's that's one of one the, of our setups. Yeah, one of, one our, of our many, many setups. Yeah. Yeah. we don't even have to have a mic actually because of you these mics. That. Yeah, built you, in. You can literally do a scratch song like this and just sing. I'm gonna say this. I mean, this is how like like based you could get. I'm saying those little like earbud headphones. You got your phone. It's basically a phone headphone. You mic. You could even record into that mug right into here. That's that's how like bass you can get with the you can get right. is what I mean by bass. So this simple. is this will run you anywhere from a hundred fifty to three hundred dollars right here. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's in the sequencer now. Corinne's really showing off right now. It's okay. Um, so like the process I'm doing right now because I uh, some people like I'll start with the basic rhythm first. Like as far as like the hi-hat, um, I start with like a real basic hi-hat, real basic rhythm. And then once I start getting like all my scents and everything, I start really getting a pattern that I like. I mean, I, I love Fruity Loops. When it comes to beat making, I recommend getting your feet wet into as many dolls as possible. You're gonna get to know the, again, like the genetic makeup, the coding of that particular software. And you just gonna figure out what works for you. You know, there's some that I'm not a fan of that other people swear by. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I like that. I got myself a little loop there. So how I usually do, I'll arm it. And arm recording is the same everywhere. That's the tight part. See, sometimes it'll fuck up. You'll be like, oh damn, came in too early.
is definitely make sure your cables are always in order, okay? Make sure that you do thorough research on your music equipment because sometimes you don't know. Lots of versatility with your cables and your inputs. I prefer a mixer that has its own USB drive because not only can I use this live, but I can also use this in my studio, so it's double usage for me. I always say simpler is better when it comes to recording. Make sure, first off, any great song, number one, the vibe. The vibe is where it's at. You have to create the muse and you have to be your own muse and you have to know that you want to put something in the world here. So you have to be intentional. That's another trick that a lot of people, and it's not overly thinking it. It's like, let me, it took me years. Also, it took me years to know what I wanted and know how to, to channel it, to give it to somebody else simply. If you want to use all reverb, then use all reverb so that you can, that's how we did it. We got so many focal effects and effects that we had to like learn how to deal with a lot of frequencies. Also, know your coding. Know what DAW you want. Know what sound you want. See, I can hear somebody's beat and know when they've used Logic or mm -hmm. Fruity Loops. Or Ableton. Or Ableton. I can tell there's something about it. Hanging out with Corinne doing music for over six years, seven years now. Mm -hmm. And I just, probably like two months ago, un understood sequencing and how to, how to use MIDI took me a lot of years so be patient with yourself is number one but make sure that you're making something that you like first off just make things that you love and stop making cover songs please don't do it nobody wants it nobody needs it nobody deserves it make your own unique content so those are the kinds of things you know stay hydrated and know that music is a gift from the universe for us all to capture and have and when you become a recording musician and you become a recording producer, you become a time traveler.